everybody, this is Emily with Snake Discovery and today we're going to be talking about the four different activity patterns seen in animals across the globe with an emphasis on reptiles of course and we're going to discuss what factors can influence what time of day various reptiles are active. <music> The time of day that reptiles are active during is dependent on several different factors. First of all, food availability. If food is more active, like for predatory species, at night, then that predator will also be active at night in order to uh, forage for that food and consume it. Whereas the flip side is also a factor. Reptiles that are considered prey species typically avoid times of day when their predators are most active. So it's a constant battle back and forth between predator and prey. Another factor that influences the time of day reptiles are active during is the temperature outside. If it's really hot during the day, like especially in the desert, not many reptiles are going to be active during that time of day because it's just too hot for them to do anything productive. Instead, they're going to be more active during the cooler hours of the day or even at night. Whereas in cooler climates, it's too cold at night for them to do anything, so they are more inclined to be active during the daytime when it actually is warm enough for them to forage for their food. The first two activity patterns I'd like to touch on are pretty well known. Reptiles that are active during the daytime are considered diurnal, including this false water cobra. Whereas reptiles that are most active at night are called nocturnal animals, like this Lichianus gecko. Typically, reptiles that are diurnal have round pupils, whereas nocturnal reptiles have vertically oriented or kind of like cat eye shaped pupils. Now, there are always exceptions to every rule, and we are going to get to that next. The last two activity patterns I bet you're less familiar with, the first of which is called crepuscular. Crepuscular in Latin essentially means twilight, so as you can imagine, animals, including reptiles that are crepuscular, are most active at dawn and at dusk. There are quite a few snakes that are considered crepuscular, including things like rosy boas and corn snakes, like this little corn snake here. Now, crepuscular gets broken down even further into those that are active at dawn or at sunrise rise and those that are active at dusk or sunset. Animals that are most active at sunrise or dawn are considered matutinal. Now an organism that's pretty well known for being matutinal is the praying mantis. They are definitely most active during the early morning hours. Whereas animals that are most active at sunset or at dusk are considered vespertine. And a really well known animal that displays a vespertine activity pattern are bats. You know when you're sitting outside in the evening and just as the sun is about to set, you see bats starting to fly around? Well, they're most active at sunset because they are a vespertine animal. And the reason why they're most active at dusk is because mosquitoes, moths, and other insects also become most active at dusk and they are also vespertine. So the bats have adapted so that they are most active when their prey is also most readily available. So again, animals, including reptiles, that are most active at dawn and or at dusk are considered crepuscular, which gets broken down into those most active at dawn, which are considered matutinal, and those who are active at dusk, which are considered vespertine. This, by the way, is our scaleless corn snake, and she's a newer addition to our family. Her name is Sunny Side Up. We took, we took your suggestion and had to do Sunny Side Up. The last type of activity pattern seen in the animal kingdom are organisms that are cathemeral. Cathemeral has a Greek origin and it translates to throughout the day, which pretty much means that animals that are cathemeral have random or irregular active periods throughout the day. Or in other words, their active periods are evenly distributed throughout a 24 hour period. So not only are they randomly active during the daytime, but they also have random activity periods at night. Some animals that demonstrate cathemerality include many cats, big cats, house cats, many cats, and frogs, as well as many primates. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any examples of reptiles that are cathemeral, but the closest I could get were frogs, so amphibians. There are some cathemeral species of amphibians. So those are the four activity patterns seen in the animal kingdom with a focus on reptiles wherever possible. They are, again, diurnal animals, nocturnal, crepuscular, and cathemeral. 
There is of course some overlapping with all of these patterns. Animals that are typically uh, diurnal will often have more crepuscular tendencies during the hottest parts of the year where it's just too hot for them to do anything during the day. So during that warm season they just instead are more active at dawn and at dusk. Whereas the reverse is also true, reptiles that are typically nocturnal may show some diurnal or crepuscular tendencies during the cooler times of the year, where it's just too cold at night for them to be active. So in order for them to have enough energy to forage and to eat, they have to become active during slightly warmer parts of the day, even when it's not a time of day where they would normally like to be active. For example, there are some species of rattlesnakes in the United States that show crepuscular tendencies during the hotter months and more diurnal tendencies during the cooler months. This is because during the hot season, I mean, if you go to a desert during the midday in the warm season, you don't see anything. You don't see mammals, you don't see people, you don't see reptiles, and everything kind of waits until the evening when it starts to cool off to become more active. And that includes reptiles because their prey items are also becoming more active in the evening or at night. If it gets too cool at night, there are usually rocks that have absorbed a lot of heat throughout the day that reptiles gravitate to to warm up and then they keep going. But that covers what influences reptiles to be active at different parts of the day and what the four terms are to their different activity patterns. Thank you everybody for watching and thank you to all of our Patreon supporters as always for supporting our channel. We love all of you guys. This by the way is a snake that hasn't been seen in a very long time on the channel. This is an albino bull snake we produced last year. Her name is Priscilla. She's looking great. What happened with her was we actually sold her to a really good home but he decided that he wasn't going to pursue bull snakes anymore. He had some other projects he wanted to focus on, so he asked if we were interested in buying her back. And so we did, and now we have her back, and we're keeping her now. So yeah, we have, this is our bull snake we produced last year. She's in one of those hatching videos. But thank you everybody for watching, and we'll see you next time. Would she be considered pentameral? Because you woke her up during a time she's not actively supposed to be active. I woke her up. She didn't choose she's to be still awake. She's her out. That she's not, she's diurnal. Diurnal, nocturnal, oh my gosh. Cathemeral. I, I was gonna mix up, I was gonna do cathemeral, I wanted to do crepuscular first.